Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. One of the most controversial issues currently is the resolution that was reached by southern governors in the meeting that they held in Asaba Delta State where they came up with some very strong uh, recommendations. One of it was the issue of ban on open grazing. The second one was the case of state creating state police. And the third one was restructuring. And the final one was the issue of insecurity. I'm here with my colleague. We're going to be discussing a lot about that. Right now, uh, Nam Dikanu has responded to the issue of restructuring. We're going to be looking at it from his perspective. And also, um, the IGP had also responded to the case of creating state police and what the... What will happen if it is created by the state governors? We are going to look at the two news in one and then we'll also pick some other reactions from other places so that we know where we are heading. Now, first of all, let's look at what Mazin Namdekanu had to say. Mazin Namdekanu, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has kicked against the South Governor's call for restructuring of Nigeria. It can be recalled that the governors under the aegis of Southern Nigerian Governors Forum on May 11 resolved for the restructuring of the country to end agitation for secession in the region. The governors made the decision in Asaba Delta State, Asaba Delta State capital, while deliberating on how to cope the deteriorating security situation in their respective state and other states of other parts of the country. However, the IPB leader in a tweet on Friday said Nigeria needs secession and not restructuring. According to him, restructuring may not end the bad governance that stimulated the agitation for separation. Do you want Nigeria restructured to the 1960 era that lasted only six years or to Aburi that drove you all mad enough to commit genocide. Will this your new restructuring turn bad omen to good men? It won't. What Nigeria needs is dismemberment, not some doggy restructuring, Kano said. All right. Meanwhile, the Inspector General of Police, IGP, has berated governors who are clamoring for state police, saying they are inviting anarchy. Speaking at the Open Government Partnership Week in Abuja, the IGP said those governors asking for state police are doing so for selfish purpose because they want to use the instrument of state police against their political opponent. The IGP, represented by Deputy Inspector General of Police, DIG Lemu Sanusi, said, and I quote, he said, but state police will bring anarchy. Look at what is happening with the Nigerian Labour Congress in Kaduna, State with state police, what will have been the situation if there is an armed robbery case? The governor cannot send a state police. What the governors are looking for are instruments to defeat their political opponents. Minister of State, Budget and National Planning, and co chair of Open Government Partnership, Prince claims Ikanade Agba said that after the INSAS protest in October last year, the relationship between the citizens and police worsened. He said the government is trying to repair the damage, the damaged relationship through the open government partnership. And, and this has generated a lot of uh, response from Nigeria. But then we want to look at, you know, this issue of restructuring and the issue of creating state police. And we want to do it objectively. You've heard what Mazinam Dikano have said and also what the IGP has said. I, I, I want to be very clear on some of those things because it's not because you hit a child uh, or maybe because the water is dirty, you throw the water alongside with the, the dirty water alongside with the child. So sometimes some of these people who are top in uh, some of these um, uh, government functionaries say things that we have to consider again, you know. Now, Mazin Namdekanu has talked about the issue of restructuring, looking at it from multiple perspectives because this thing has much to do with the citizen. We have the right to also talk about it. What do you have to say? Well, for the issue of restructuring, I, I tend to agree totally with Mazin Namdekanu. I would have said less restructure, but after looking at some things and that is even playing out, I'm beginning to you know, put a real question mark on restructuring, except it is done truly 
And the question is, will it be done truly? Mm -hmm. Like he rightly said, are we sure we're not going to go back to 1960 era? Mm -hmm. Because when they're going to restructure, it may not be put in, in every true sense of the word, in true federalism. Mm -hmm. Look at what has happened in Kaduna State. They, Erufa, the governor of Kaduna, practically refused unionism. And which is, if this continues in a, in a restructured Nigeria, mm. then Erufa may be an emperor. Yeah, exactly. Now look at what is even happening in Ebony State, where some, some PDP faithfuls are accusing a governor, David Omahi, of using just created a bubago to, you know, haunt them. Now, if uh, the we the, have a restructured Nigeria. That means the governors become the president of their, their state, state exactly. where the state police will become their bodyguards that will be answerable to them. Don't forget that the governors pay directly, pay these guys their salaries directly, both the judiciary and the rest, mm -hmm. which means if you don't align to what they're saying, you may not get the salaries just very quick, mm -hmm. which means even in the case of politicking and elections, they may end up bringing, coming in every tenor. They can even expand their tenor by influencing decisions in the legislature. Legislative quarter, so we're actually looking at tyranny here. Okay, now, now I, I think that's why the federal government is looking at the issue of starting this restructuring. If they will be, they're looking at it starting right from the local government level down to the state level uh, before it is done, you know, nationally. That that's what currently I think uh, the resolu the resolution of the meeting they had yesterday I think it's out or so and and it points to the the this truth that you've just mentioned the issue of restructuring and that restructuring has to do because whenever you're talking about restructuring the most important thing there is uh, financial autonomy you understand yeah. so they are looking at a situation whereby they can give financial autonomy to the state legislatures and also to the judiciary. You understand? And when they do this, to some extent, uh, things will be put on that check because uh, each of them will serve as a watchdog to, you know, each other. The, the, the executive will not have power over the, you know, the legislature. Okay. It will not have power over the judiciary. So it, it, what will happen is that um, they will be sending money from the federation account. Now, okay, first of all, each of these... Um, arms of government will okay. present their budgets okay. annually. It, it wouldn't be a case of just the state governor coming up to present budget for everybody. The legislature will also present their own budget okay. and the judiciary will present their budget and also the governor will present his own budget. So on a monthly basis, what the government will do as they are credit, crediting, um, they, they will credit a particular account. I think they call it SAC. Okay. You know, uh, something allocation account, committee. Yes, yeah. So, uh, back, yeah, this back. one is state allocation okay. wow. okay. account. When they credit it, each of them will have to receive their monies in their, yeah, directly. Wow. They won't be. But then, being that the the likes, I'm I'm still struggling with the issue of the restructuring even at that state level because being that the commissioner of finance and also you know the attorney general of the state will have to work out something before that money moves. Don't you think that the governor at one point may want to influence that? So for me, this issue of restructuring, I'm not overly comfortable with it. You understand? So that means, are you now comfortable with secession, judging from where Martin Namdi is? Well, coming? secession, I, one of the things that I feel is most important right now, especially for those who are planning secession, is for them to draw up how their government will be run. Exactly. It's not That's... the issue of just talking about we want to see, we want to see. What are the structures so that we, the people can look at and what you have on ground and begin to compare it with the current situation they are going through because it's not going to be a case of after the secession has successfully taken place, by the time you look at the things on ground, you're like, man, if I had known, I wouldn't have allowed this to happen. So uh, the, the, the ideal thing here, they should put it down. Talking about the issue of state policing, I, I feel also that that area must really be looked into so that we don't run into huge problem whereby every critic of any government will have to be dealt with seriously. You understand? Because mm -hmm. if you listen to what IGP said, as much as they are not doing as expected, but there are some of the suggestions, uh, security, uh, this thing, advice they give that we must give into it. He said if they create that state police, most of the state governors will use it against their political opponent. Mm -hmm. Imagine what happened in Kaduna State. Mm -hmm. Imagine if 
the was state police under the employ of the state government what Erufai would have done to those people it would have just been a case of releasing not least than maybe 100 200 of of them with legal rights it wouldn't yeah, have been like the case of those stocks you know this yeah. one they will go in with legal right capture waba first of all and capture some key personalities and deal with the other ones and whatever decision he would take, if you did say him, he would deal with you. So for me, I feel before all of these things is done, we have to sit back, have everything. Let it be such that uh, uh, there should be a public hearing for it. People from different quarters, security experts and all of that, they sit down and think about it before we, if it's going to be possible. I'm talking about restructuring before we roll out this issue of restructuring. Start from the local level down to the state level before we hit the federal level. That's just my suggestion. Well, that's we're going to wrap it up. We have quite a lot to say. Between secession and restructuring, which seem to be a better one, don't yeah. forget, whatever decision any of us eventually take as a country and as a people, we eventually affect our future and our destiny. Exactly. Secession, are we going to take the, this same corrupt persons you know, to a new set of countries we're about to create yes. without any particular thing on ground no, or to, regulate them. to regulate them are we still going to go through resection and restructuring where we put our destinies to in the same process without properly doing the need for where let's put it that comment